That's a limb. That's a size 12. When you're busting wood with a splitting maw, exam examine the top of it. See these cracks are starting right there. Pop, pop, pop. Don't go to that point. That splits off. This tree, this was a limb. Big, huge limb. That's the center of it right there. It grows out one side of the weight. But each one of them cracks right there is where you start. See that one right there? So we're going to pop it right there, 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 and there. And this may break out that way and that way. This is where you start. Right there. There's your line right there. We're going to put a pop. Try to hit that right on that line. Closest to the line you can get, the better. Missed it. Got it. Yeah, all right. I was telling you about a while ago. It didn't bust out to the side. That one, two, six, zero. That's weird. But right there on that line, we popped it. First, we'll see how it split right there. Hit right above the crack. Pop. And it made these two splits come together. And then I missed right over here. See how it followed the grain? But that next hit was right in the same spot. And it busted it open. Good clean split all the way down. Now what we're going to do, we'll move over here and pop this one right here. And it should make one, two, three, one, two. And then you had to go across grain right there. Just go across it while it's sitting there. This one. And you got pretty good size chunks for your stove. This is stove wood. That's a good backlog for your heater. We make these smaller pieces. For stove wood, you gotta split a little more, but the size of your size of your piece, the smaller gets the fire going, but they don't last very long. So what you do is you make a a variety of them so that you've got you've got enough to to make it cooking bread or something like that in your stove you're going to have to have a little, a little bigger piece and that's the anatomy of cross cut
not. Alright, hopefully that'll uh I'll give y'all a little education on how to bust your wood. You find yourself out in the woods, whatever you got going on, you ain't got no hydraulic splitter. You can't buy it or whatever you're out in the woods or doing it by yourself. Uh very handy, very handy tool to have right there. And this is a uh this is a six, six pound. That's a lot easier. You can swing it. You can swing a six pound. You know how to do it right. You don't have to have one in big massive. We call it Frankenstein. I don't know where it's at. Them young boys use it, but it's a massive, big old wedge, and that thing will do it. But uh, them young boys use it and be whopping them big pieces. But a six pound will work. You know, if you're packing it in, you don't carry it to your camp or whatever. You ain't got no pack mules. A six pound is six pounds. You don't want to have a 10, 8, whatever, unless you got a mule to carry it in on. But, uh, anyway, you can tell, I hope I can get this, right there they'll have a mark inside there. They usually be stamped right in there. Six, eight, that may be, a, that may be an eight. I can't really read it, but it'll have it stamped right there under the head. And then you can take these, you can just get these heads, and then you can put a handle on it when you get there. Uh, what's his name? Pathfinder guy. He's big on carrying hammer heads, his, his tool heads in the woods, because he can make handle for them. And uh, you want one that's got a big pommel up here like this, and slide down, so when you're swinging it, it's always getting tighter and tighter. And then you can wrap a little something down there till it gets good and set on there so it'll come back and hit you in the hands. But uh, that's how you do it. And maybe that'll help you folks out. If you're a country kid, you know all about this right here. If you're a country kid, you know all about this right here. All right, we'll see y'all later. Get out there and get to splitting.